Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a reactive web application with the Spring MVC and uh, reactive database support with relational database. I'm going to use R2DBC for connecting to the SQL database. So if you go to R2DBC then you'll see there are a lot of database support. I'm going to use uh, MySQL uh, but you can use uh, PostgreSQL the same way and also other database uh, should be similar in nature. So uh, I'm also for the reactive part. I'm going to use this Kotlin's uh, Coroutine support, um, and uh, let's start the project then. So for the project, first I'm going to go to start out script .io. From there, I'm going to select the Gradle project, a language Kotlin, and the latest version two four one. Change the group name to your name, artifact name to your likings. In the dependency, I'm going to use web, reactive web, and uh, database uh, for the database first uh, R2DBC for the Spring data. And uh, now you select your database. So if you are using MySQL, you select MySQL. If you are using Postgres, so you don't need to uh, select both together. Uh, I'm going to show what to do if you decide to choose Postgres. Uh, so Let's add this, generate the project, open it with your favorite ID. So I'm going to use IntelliJ IDEA. Here you'll get the dependency like this. So I'm going to show with MySQL. So I need these two. These two I don't need for now. I'm just showing if you use Postgres, then you'll get this. Next, you want to open the application.yml file In initially it will be application of properties change it to application.yml and for mysql uh, put the database configuration like this your database name host port username password for if you are using postgres it's like this uh, that's the only difference everything else is same so now let's go to the reactive application main class and here create your uh, data class so I'm going to create a data class called customer with two field and this is going to be a table and this is going to be annotated with ID I have created a customer uh, table in the database already. So it looks like this. Uh, we have two, two fields, ID and name. And uh, the DDL is like this. Create table customer, ID begin to auto increment primary key and name text. And I have populated some data with it to access from our application. So next, let's create the repository to access uh, this database. So for the repository, I'm going to select interface and uh, repository name. It's going to extend the reactive crude repository. Object type is customer and ID type is long. And you can use uh, some, you can use some uh, custom query here as well uh, as well as uh, the queries provided by the reactive uh, crude repository save save all find all the default methods so let's create one custom query to show how it works so i'm going to use this suspending function to access uh, the database uh, using reactive method Take the name as parameter and now put the query custom query select star from customer where name equal to question mark so that's it 
that's all I need for a custom query now let's create the controller class at inject the dependency at the rest controller annotation and just mapping this is going to be customer controller okay now let's add the function so let's create a function for get all customer this is going to return normally uh, with spring uh, we, uh, and java we return the flux or publisher for coroutine we are going to return the flow flow of customer and this returns repository find all so as you can see it returns flux flux of customer to return flow from here so it just return as flow and as Kotlin you actually don't need this part you can remove this and that uh, get mapping for this so we can do the similar for get by name Add the path variable and here we're gonna get only one so let's add that So here uh, if you want to get a single customer then you have to call uh, await first if you are sure that customer is there if not then await first or null or you can use the default uh, customer if you want uh, you can throw exception using this or else or you can use simply null if you want so this actually returns Customer like this, and this returns flow of customer, which is again not mandatory to put. You can remove that if you want. Okay, so that's it from the coding perspective. And uh, now let's call this endpoint using IntelliJ's uh, HTTP APIs. So you can also call it from the browser as well oh, I have to first run it <laughs> okay so I'm getting all the customer and uh, if you want to get a selected customer you can get it as well You can get another customer as well by name and if you put wrong name it will just return null so that's how uh, we have done it in the code anyway so that's all that's all I wanted to show you in this video I hope you liked it if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment below I'll be uploading this code into github and uh, put the link in the video description so that's all for this video. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.